we back? Are we back, chat? I think we're back. Stream is back, right? I think it's back. Okay, great. Great, 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 great. Yeah, uh, no, I just spilled it on the desk a little bit. Just a little drop. Just a little drop. But hey, every drop counts, right? Had to make sure I got it. Cat leather. No. No. Man, you are grabbing a lot of items, aren't you? Is it more wood? Interesting. An engineer guild. We need to set up an engineer guild. Okay. We can do that. That's on 36. We are all out of guild space. We need to make another. Here we go. That'll be the engineer guild. We shall make a guild for the engineers. Engineer. What? More people found dead? Lanix, can you just fucking fuck off? Please. Four injured citizens. Who's getting hurt? A mason and a peasant. I mean, people are pissed off. We might just need to exile them for being so bad. It's Lanix again, but finally someone else injured Lanix. Alright. Justice. Convict Lanix. Yes. Convict Lanix. Yes. You're going to jail for a long time, Lanix. A long time. Orvin Child, Lanix. Alright. Lots of jail time has been assigned. Lots. Have you had a thought about dining in a legendary dining room? Of course. Batman Real. How about this one? Batman Real. Chat, this is your invitation. I would love to name dwarves after you guys. I would like to name them after ridiculous nonsense. If you have any dwarven names that you would like added, even animal names, I would be happy to add them. More than pleased to add them. It's a good time. It really is. We have so much gold. Batman real. Dwarf number two... 63. Can do. Can do. Uh, cat. I love this playlist. Boom. Dwarf number 263. Done. Right? It's so good. There you go, there's a link for you. Oh, do I have to log into Twitch? Hold on. Give me a sec. Oh. It has a really good uh, bridge. This song has a really, really good bridge. I'm just logging into Twitch so I can give you a link. There's your link. Excellent. So good, dude.
Ooh, a legendary hatch cover. We love that. Indestructible hatch cover. Beautiful. Perfect. Oh, absolutely. This uh this is so good. So 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 good. Uh engineer guild, right? We were gonna do that. Uh doop, doop. Doop, doop. Yeah. Uh, oh. And then we make it much bigger. And then we cover the floor in a bit of gold. Shouldn't be that hard. Do that, do that, do that. Beautiful. This will probably be enough to satisfy their need. Uh, let's see. So we didn't make a room for our... Wait, we have a room for our outpost liaison. Did it get uh, recaptured or something? I think it did. Because this is for the outpost liaison. Yeah, you lost your room, buddy. And the general lives here. Happy nobles. Uh, we need more low boots and short swords. Okay. Iron short sword. We will make three. And then the talented armor, we make copper low boot. And we make three. There we go. All right, back to here. There are corpses here. All we need to do. All right, here we go. Necro spawn point. We are going to link this to specifically be our necro. And we're going to say, hey, buddy. Come uh, pull this lever right now, and then they will get locked in. There we go. He's there. And now we lock that. Then we need to pull this lever. Actually, we don't need to pull the lever. We just need to have him reanimate stuff. So we need to link this up. So we shall go into here. And we'll do this one. We'll call this one... It's just a temporary troglodyte lever. It's fine. Down to here. Go. And he will stay there for a long time. He's locked in. Good. All right, there you go. Now we lock this. You know what? We should probably set this up the same way with iron. And then we need to link this to the same thing. Yo! Scrap King Kata. Thank you very much for the raid. Thank you. Much appreciated, Scrap King. Welcome, Scrap King Kata and Raiders. How's it going? I hope your Saturday is excellent. Today's Saturday, right? It's Friday. It's Friday in America. It's probably Saturday in New Zealand. But welcome. It's good to see you guys. Scrap King, listen, all right? This is not just Shasta. This is also whiskey. American whiskey. So, the memory do be a bit foggy right now. If you guys are not familiar with my streams, I am Scooty Lou. I love to play complex games, and I love to teach complex games to chat. Today we're playing Dwarf Fortress, one of my favorite games of all time. I know that Scrap King Keita is a big fan of Dwarf Fortress as well. 
And uh, today, the theme of the fort is we are doing a bunch of stupid dwarven tricks. I will give you an example. We have completely dammed this river. Completely dammed it. Look at that. Just to prove that we could. I've never done it before. So I thought that today's stream would be an excellent time to practice. Look at that. This is the last one that needs to get placed. And uh, this sterling silver bar is having a rough time. So let's get that out of there just by placing a floor here out of sterling silver bars. Maybe that'll do it. There's also green glass tube and black bronze bar. Let's see. Black bronze bar. That's not correct. Maybe we can do something a little bit silly here. And we can do this. And then we will build here and we'll pump it out. I think that'll work. Where are you from? That American whiskey is specifically labeled by nation. Um, good question. Chat. So, I'm not really like a big drinker at all. Pendleton whiskey. I think that is an American name. I think it is Southern. True Western tradition. Bottled by Hood River Distillers. Approved by R.R. Dodge. Blended Canadian whiskey. See, look at that. Canadian, not American. Ads? Fuck. Cheers. There we go. So, if you guys are enjoying the music, this is from an album called Boss. It's like a music for boss battles. Boss battle music for a game that doesn't exist, I think is what it's called. And I love it. I really like it a lot. Boss battle music for a game that does not exist. I thought it was very clever. It rules. Winter Brass, what was I explaining? Was I explaining the whiskey? I think I was. Okay, so it says Pendleton, right? And then I learned right down there. It says Canadian whiskey. Canadian whiskey. So it's Canadian, it's not American. I, I guess I'm not entirely wrong. It's North American, but it's Canadian. So, with that in mind, you know, Canadian. Canadian whiskey ain't too bad. Not bad at all. So, I can't wait to use this trap. I think we will try it out with a few fun animals. Uh, let's do troglodytes. And I mean, obviously, if we get any goblins, we'll do it with goblins. That'll be fun. What's your question? Let me just go back. Where are you from? That American whiskey is specifically labeled by nation. I, I'm not entirely sure what you are asking, if I'm being honest. Damn it, Lanix. You keep killing guys. Stop it. Okay, this is hooked up. Alright, now it's time to have some fun. Alright, guys, are you ready to see some necromant? Wait, 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 wait. I jumped the gun. I jumped the gun. We're not ready yet. We're not ready yet. This needs to get linked up. So, this lever right here needs to get linked to this. 
Well, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. So we're going to go to this building. Is this linked to anything? No. So we're going to link down to here with an iron mechanism at target. Yes, just like that. That. Good. All right. Once this gets linked up, then we'll be happy. We'll be able to pull some levers and have some fun. Cool. First four words. Where are you from? America. Washington. I'm from Washington. I hope this helps. Uh, um, yeah, we're going to revive a lot of these guys. I am from America. I am from Washington. I live in Washington in America. I don't mind saying that. You were shocked? How are you shocked? I mean, I, I work uh, I work in a nuclear facility in Washington. It's very easy to know what nuclear facility I work for. It's like the big one in Washington. What's scary to you, a werewolf or a wind wolf? A wind wolf, because a werewolf, at least you know when it's going to pop out. A wind wolf could pop out at any time. My lack of an accent identifies me as somebody who lives in Cascadia. Uh, thing is, I definitely do have an accent. Um, depends on like where in the world you're from, but I most certainly have an accent. I have an American, I have a very flat, like, West Coast accent. These guys died in the same spot, what the fuck? We have no goblets down there? What? Is there a chest? There's no chest? What? Hold on. And then BFH. And then we place a good chest. Do we have any good chests? No good fucking chests. Wow. Uh, copper. There we go. Definitely don't have an accent because I'm from across the water on Vancouver Island. Hey, we're not too far away from each other, are we? Not that far. Is this... Set? We, we probably have the same kind of accent, if I'm being completely honest. For our ferry ride, not too bad. Clay has an accent. You know... Hmm. 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 Interesting. Damn, what are we even going to put in here? We could do pixel art. I think pixel art might be a fun thing to do. I usually do pixel art in my forts. Okay, we're doing good on pig iron. Melting. That's good shit. That's good shit. Let's skip this. This is the credit slot. Oh, yeah, dude. Bossa Nova. Bossa Nova rules. We love Bossa Nova on this channel. So normally I end my stream uh, 11 minutes ago, but I think things are going pretty well, so we're going to keep on rolling. I'm having a great time with you today, chat. Now, why the fuck are they not dying? They should die, Claw, for sure. So we're going to sort it. Let's find that die job. So it's a repeating job. We're not making mead. Why not? Because we don't have enough honey. We should be squeezing honey. So that's at five, and then the honey should be at five. Milling nuts, good. Making mead. Where is it? Forging spears, that's good. Swords is good. We haven't made a single kale a night slap. I don't know why. Lots of scroll rollers and blocks. Scrolls is happening. Great. Silk toga. We haven't bound a single book. 
It might be like make book. Bind book. Where is it? Bookcase, book binding. Are we running out of binding? That might be what's going on. Is bind book? No, we need book binding. So if I type binding. Yeah, we have a ton of book binding. Tons of book binding. So if we have the pages, if we have the book binding, all we have to do is bind the book. So what's going on here? Book binding. Ah, I don't remember this one. Book binding. Library scholars, they write on choirs. Ah, it's the choir thing. Right. Choir. There we go. We'll repeat this job. Choir sheet. Um, get rid of that. Sheet. At least 10. There we go. Choir. Done. Oh, you want to see my kitties? You want me to you want me to show you my kitties on stream? Listen, that's a little it's a little personal. You know what I mean? I don't just show my kitties off. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Alright, let's go get some kitties. BRP. Uh let's see. Let me queue up some jobs because grabbing kitties can sometimes be quite a process. You don't want to show your kitties off on the street. Listen, listen. You know I do it. You know I would. You know I would. Dump. 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 We'll, we'll see when this happens. I'm sure it'll happen. Okay, time to show off my kitties. Were you sitting right there? Yeah. One kitty. Kitty. This is Artie. Artie's a good boy. He is the less social of my two kitties. I have Groucho and I have Artie. And Artie doesn't usually like to be on camera. He's trying to get away. If I release him, he will go. Watch. <laughs> That's just how he is. That's fine. He is allowed to go. We we uh we don't keep him around too too long because we know he doesn't like it. That's fine. Okay, so there is one out of seven water right there. Someone should probably fill that. Oh, this music. We're gonna skip it. Oh, bro. Bro. Shantae music. Love it. I love Shantae music. It's so good, dude. All right, this is almost done. Cats are lessons in cons- Listen, bruh. Having a dog is kind of like owning something, and having a cat is like learning to cohabitate with something. And some people really don't like that. Some people really don't like that. 
they're like, if I can't control something, why would I allow it in my house? And I'm like, do you really need to control everything? That's a little not good. That's true. That's true. Definitely. I fucking am an extrovert. <laughs> I'm so extroverted, it's, like, not even funny. It is not even funny how extroverted I am. I would go to, like, an event where there is just people, 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 people all day. And I would be very happy with that. I would be totally content with that situation. I would, I would do people-related stuff all day. Yeah. <laughs> I would love that. That would be great. Okay, this is linked. I think the time has come. Is this one linked to both? Yes. Pull the lever, crunk. So both of these should raise. And now we are going to release the troglodyte. Release the troglodyte. I'll go to TwitchCon some year. Definitely. That's a promise. I don't know when, but I'll do it. Okay, so you should be very scared. You should be very scared of this thing. You can see it. Why aren't you raising, why aren't you raising bodies? I bet they will. I bet they will. That sounds reasonable. So... Why are you not raising zombies? Oh, is this linked to both? Oh, shit. Sure. So it's also linked to that one. Okay. Hold this lever. So if you're not afraid of a troglodyte, then what do we do with you? Why is this not getting filled? That might help. We'll see. Why is someone hurt here? All right, rock salts. Rock salts. Here, I need to shoot over a message to a fellow Dwarf Fortress streamer. Okay, they have uh, 40 seconds of ads over on their channel before I can say anything, so can't can't do anything just yet.
Uh, this song loops. Look at that. Mmm, Dwarf Fortress with Dark Souls music? Maybe? Maybe? Pling pling plong? You died? Damn, bro. You're not very good at that, are you? This is so hard to damn up. You know what? We don't have to focus so hard on this. We we wanted to damn something, so we did. We figured out how to do it. That was the goal. So I'm happy. I'm gonna... We're just waiting on Lola Top Cocktail to get back. By the way, shout out to Lola Top Cocktail. Great streamer. A very pro trans streamer. Highly recommend that you check out the stream. It's a good stream. I like Lola a lot. Lola taught me a few things early on when I was just getting started streaming, and that has catapulted me into streaming my favorite game all the fucking time. So, shout to Lola. Lola is very good people. So we're turning this into dye, and then we bag it up. Let's get some more silk bags. Silk. Just ten of them is probably fine. Six years? Holy shit. What have you learned in that time? Because I have not been streaming that long, and I want to know what kind of wisdom you have. I feel like that schedule thing is, like, the biggest boon. Having a schedule is so important. Here, listen. I'll follow you right now. There you go. Sent a follow right on over. So that when you stream next, perhaps I'll be able to catch it. I am a super busy guy. But I try and make time. I try and make time for things that matter. Or, or just don't turn on your camera. You can just not turn on your camera. That's an option too. I, I feel like VTubing is expensive. If you don't want to show your face, that's a really expensive way to avoid showing your face. Oh, white doggo. Thank you very much. I have no idea if I'm attractive or not. I just I just kind of do my thing. We're just we're just listening to uh, Lola's stream right now, waiting on waiting on her to come back. That is so much vomit! Holy fuck! <laughs> you can tell me with any amount of lewdness, I'm bisexual as fuck. Okay, anyone is eligible. This dick is for everyone. Rated rated E for everyone. But there, there is obviously an age limit. Jesus Christ, of course there is. Let's see. We need a stone worker engrave. Yes, go. I'm going to say full homo. You're cute. Ah, thanks, white doggo. Listen, cheers to cute. And look, no one's even putting cat ears on me. What the fuck? By the way, I need to I need to balance out the costs of that. I I had them uh, unbalanced as a joke. I can rebalance them. All right, community. We want those viewer rewards for channel points. Channel points. All right, it is called Catboy. So that is four hundred 
for disabling it. 400 to enable it. Enable, disable. Uh, disable is minus 10 minutes. There we go. All right. Good. All right. I have readjusted the Catboy mode. All right. We're gonna do a we're gonna do a temporary raid over to Lola's channel. If you want to watch Lola, watch Lola. If you want to watch me, watch me. But we are going to send over a raid to Lola. I'm gonna keep streaming. Okay, we're gonna keep going. But if you guys want to stay over at Lola, go. If you want to come back to me, stay. Simple as. See you guys in just a bit. We're gonna say hi. And set up a drink stockpot. All right, Winter Brass, still around, still around, right on. We're going to keep it moving. Okay. Okay. All right, let's read through chat. Here, hold on. All right, I'm going to mute Twitch. We're going to go back to our music. Oh, this song is awesome. I would love to share this. All right, let me catch up with chat. There are cheap generic models. You can pay a license for it. And VTube Studio actually has some pretty generic ones, so the price of entry is pretty low. I thought it was hella expensive to be a VTuber. Like, you, you would have to spend like $1,000 to get a rigged model. I guess I have a lot to learn. Winterbrass says, Keck W, I prefer 
to not lewd streamers because it's like going to someone's workplace and flirting with them. Dude, if you came to my workplace and flirted with me, that would make my fucking day. Anyone is more than welcome to flirt with me. I love that shit. And in my in my relationship with my wife, that is totally okay. We have rules. Flirt away. Fuck, I knew I was too old. Never too old, son Niff. I'm I'm old. Alright? I'm old as fuck. There's some people that I work with and uh, some people that I know who think that I'm in my 40s, which I find hilarious. I am not in my 40s. But that's just our little secret. I mean, actual gay, so yeah, f same full homo, says Winterbrass. Right on, right on. Ghostbat was a PNG tuber, and she used her own art as another example. You know, fun fact about the whole PNG tuber thing. I have something that will show up right here. I'm going to make it show up. Give me just a sec. I learned this from the... Uh, oh, I do I actually not have it? All right, hold on. Let me just adjust this a bit. There we go. Uh, so, so you don't see it right now, because I'm not in a Discord chat right now. But you'll see it pop up. Uh, is it right here? I think it's right here. Give it a sec. Ready? And... There. That's me. If I had other people, they would be there. And then I leave the call, and suddenly it vanishes. So I do have something like that set up. I know that PNG tubers use that. It's good stuff. Oh, you were already in Lola's stream? Hell yeah, hell yeah. A lot of people get uncomfortable, especially when the person who is at work can't leave the situation. Fuck, yeah. I mean... I don't give a damn. I really don't give a damn. Um, if people want to be that way, that is fine. I consider it a compliment to me. It it takes a lot to upset me, and that's not going to do it. You know what I mean? That's really not going to. It's not going to set me off. At all. I think it's. I think it's great. Just like I know some some gals out there who are like, I feel like men aren't bold anymore. Men used to be so bold in what they would say. But now they're afraid of giving off the wrong impression, and they feel like flirting, in a way, has died. And I think that's kind of sad, because I think that there is a lot of fun in flirting and whatnot. And I do feel like we have lost a bit of that. A bit. I mean, this is also coming from women who are fans of it. They're like, it's it's almost like we've lost an art form. You know? I don't really flirt all that much, <laughs> unless it's on Twitch, if I'm being completely honest. It's just because I think that a lot of people just, like, don't want that for the most part. I think people aren't, like, looking for that. It is fun, though. All right, let's smooth all of this. I also don't have a whole lot to gain from flirting. You know, I have a, I have a wife. I love her very much. And, um, you know, I don't need to be successful in my flirting. I'm very lucky that I'm allowed to flirt. It's a good time. It's a really good time. Let's catch up on chat. So there was an age limit, of course. Sundiff is approaching 50? Yo, dude, congrats. I had no idea that you were around there. I really didn't. I didn't know you were there. Uh, by the way, 40 seconds until we get ads, just as a heads up. What are we doing now? Uh, more projects, more big projects. We're going to keep working on it. 
I do want to finish our little death pit. We're almost done. We're almost ready to throw our first villain. Because that's what they are. Villains. Put it in a nice save. Not retire. Save. Alright, you guys are getting ads in about 15 seconds, so... I'll make sure that nothing super interesting happens yet. I think we're in ad land. We're in an ad right now, right? An ad. I think we're. All right, we'll set up some pits. Okay, we're in an ad now. I'll answer Minnow's question in a bit. I think Minnow is totally in ad land. I don't think Minnow is a subscriber. Did you just fall and die, you idiot? You fucking fool. You absolute buffoon. You've got to be kidding me. Did you actually just die, dude? Wow. Okay, so Udil needs... Needs to be marginalized. Okay, Udil, you fucking idiot. What's his name, Udil? Udil Nilek. Yeah, Udil... Udil. What? That's weird. Still in Adland. You are not hostile to this guy. Interesting. Okay, to catch up. Winterbreath says, I'm happy to flirt with people because I find it fun, especially when there's a level of mutual attraction, mutual intimacy. Fucking true. It's a good time. And why are you not hitting each other? You guys should be angry right now, but they're not. Nino, thank you very much, bro. Much love back at you. Uh, Winterbrass says, I'm nearly 40. It's fine. I think that, uh, I think that 40 is an excellent, excellent age to be at, really. I'm approaching 30, and I love it. I'm having a great time. I really do like it quite a bit. Uh, you turned 47. Yeah, I didn't know that that was your age. For now, frankly, I didn't know. I know that you uh, have been around the Dwarf Fortress streams for a while, and I feel like the Dwarf Fortress crowd just tends to be older. I don't really know why. There's also a lot of like scientists and engineers and just really smart people, really wise people as well. Like, I don't know. Dwarf Fortress community is something else. They're built different. I really like the DF community quite a bit. What's a minnow? It is a very small fish. Very small fish. Minotaur asks, does your little Discord call overlay just go off Discord profile pictures or is it a custom little plugin type thing? It's a little bit of both. So by default, it looks at Discord and it takes your profile picture and that's what it is. Uh, you can also go to the website and you can upload a custom picture for people. You have two options, one while they're idle and one while they're talking. So it can change while they're talking. So you can do whatever you want there. 
You can also do a GIF, which is kind of cool. It's just a browser source in uh, in OBS or Streamlabs. Minotaur says, I'm a sub. Okay, so you're subscribed. Got it, got it. Sunniff says, me too. Oh, wait. Logdor is 69. Damn, son. How are you enjoying that uh, that retirement? How are you enjoying that that pension that maybe perhaps you have? Willingness to put up with a learning curve. Yeah, true. Not the engineering degree. What kind of engineering? Was it mechanical, electrical, chemical, civil? I work with a lot of engineers. A lot. Okay, Elven Caravan time. Here we go. All right. Finished goods bin iron. So we'll just grab only finished goods bins. Uh, I'm going to grab a screenshot really quick. Because he wanted to see this bug happen. So we'll watch it happen live. Don't write it, and we'll do it live. Fucking thing sucks. Goddamn. Is he dead? I don't know if that guy is dead. Look, door says, I don't quit 69 till I die. Fuck yeah. Sudden if is retired. Chemical engineer. Again, specialized in metallurgy. It was a blacksmith. Shit. Son, listen. Here, I need, I need to get a new Discord invite. Give me just a second. Hold on one second. All right, exclamation point discord in chat and you'll get an updated uh, discord link. I did have to uh, I did have to alter my link because I experienced a cyber attack recently. So I needed to secure things just a little bit. Minotaur says I wanted to go to school for mechanical engineering as a teen was very first in CAD, having done it for three years in high school. Shit, they're teaching CAD in high school? That's good. I work with a lot of CAD uh, design engineers. We have a lot of design engineers. And I think that is fantastic because of how important CAD is in our world. Frankly, it's a really, really big deal. Uh, Katten, are you interested? Let's see. Winter Brass says, yep, I was in for computer science twice. Failed out both times because of lack of support for my learning disabilities. What? What is a learning disability? I don't really know what that means. All right. Sunniff says, got very badly injured at work in the middle of taking a master's in metallurgy, so I'm retired these days. Minotaur says, I was thinking of going to community college for a cybersecurity certificate since I can do two years for free through the state in my age. Let me check this screen really quick. Mike is giving me some information.
ADHD is a learning disability. My wife has ADHD and she did a pretty good job. Smaller working memories so I can cut around fewer things and easily distractible. Flore says, Well, me and another one nearly died today. I want to hear that story, Flore. I want to hear that. Is my main account banned on Discord? I don't know, Minnow. Let me double check. Because I, I know that we experienced that cyber attack. Let me take a look. Mm, you are not banned. You're not banned. You are not banned. No. No, you should be good to go. The minnow got winnowed. More like widowed. Couldn't join. Uh, let's see. God damn it, do we have a mod? Do we have a mod that can ban this Gooty RP individual? Coworker's head nearly got crushed by C cable. Oh, you told me about this C cable. I didn't even know that C cable was a thing. It's kind of crazy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you would have to be a uh, you'd have to be a moderator and it's slash ban on that one. I, I can I can run a slash ban. There we go. Easy peasy. Excellent. Yeah, see see if that see if that invite work links uh, or that invite link works. If it doesn't work, then I'll fix it. So no leather. leather. DF track hack trade. So I select everything. Uh, only ethically acceptable, yes.
does not. At least tells me you're unable to accept the invite. Uh, can someone else try it? Let me let me see if it's something to do with my server. It might have to do with the server, honestly. Let's take a look. Invites. Uses zero. Uses zero. No, I don't think it's derailing the stream, not at all. Uh, let me see. So if I go to Nightbot and I grab the Discord link, open it, it says continue to Discord, and job, job, job. It looks like it works. I don't know. I would need someone to test it. Because I do want people to be able to join. Uh, can can someone give it a try? This Discord link. I just want to see like what happens. I believe it's working. I'm not 100%. Oh man, we are buying everything from these guys. I don't think they need every single one of my goods. Though. Uh, let's open the trade interface, port goods, uh, sort by value. Damn. Our stuff is just worth so much. Whatever, that's fine. Trade. What? You added me. Okay, yeah, it worked. It worked. Wonderful. Interesting. Interesting. How very strange. Well, sees. Let's see if we can finish this. We've been on the same song for a while as well. It's a good song. All right, let's set up our last pits. Beautiful. Uh, so this troglodyte isn't mad at all. That's weird. That's very weird. Right, what's going on there? We have a lot of wood. That's good. Booty Dwarf, that's fine. He's Troglo Bright! He is trying to avoid death by being, um... By being neutral, I guess, hostile wise.
trouble enlightened. I mean, perhaps. What we need to find is something a bit more hostile. I'm shocked that we don't have anything that's like super hostile because here's the goal. All right, this guy's a necromancer. His name is Bone Daddy. We are trying to spook him with a bad guy so that all these corpses get revived. That's the goal here. But it's not working like that. Like, look, he's he doesn't give a fuck. He goes and sees this guy and nothing bad happens. Very strange. Very strange. I mean, uh, Bone, Bone Daddy seems just fine right now. He's feeling pleasure near some traps. Uh, he needs to pray. We can, we can fix that. There you go. Now you can pray. See, he's just fucking hanging out. He has a mind. Cave trolls? No, none. It's crazy. Like, like, look at this list. Okay, bunch of guests, right? Pond grabber, that should do it. Uh, Mr. Krabs is still around. Lots of magma crabs. Ravens, troglodyte, troglodyte baby. Nothing. Nothing. So, let's see where that pond grabber is. Maybe that'll help us out. Okay, well, that is not a very useful search. Let's see. Pond grabber. Boop. So they're on negative 15. I mean, that seems kind of dangerous to try and lure them over. I think Mr. Krabs is feeling it. I mean, look at all this hot, hot automation right we have a lot of iron ores or uh metal ores around here we have a big bin of things that need to get melted so i need to open this up and i'm gonna say melting and then we're gonna make better versions this melting pile here all this is getting melted So they're going to melt everything in here. They're going to melt it. That's going to be good. Uh, a metal. Do it. And turn all that into stuff. All that into bars. Should be good. Should be good. Um, We need something hostile down here. I don't know what the hell we're going to put down here. Injured? You're injured? How'd you get injured? How'd you get injured? What is wrong with you? What happened? Sigun? A child. All right, listen, this child needs to be stopped. Child's going to jail. Oh, you want me to show you my kitties? I can do that. I can most certainly do that. Stand by. Did I do this right? Hold on. So, this one is called... Acquire Thing. And that is stop one. It takes from Acquire Thing. And then it dumps south. Yeah, that's right.
Okay, we'll be back in just a sec. I'll go get some. I will bring you kitties. This is what the redeem does. It brings a cat. Sometimes it brings two. This time it brought one. And it brought Groucho. I think he's kind of sleepy. Yep, this is the other one. This is the white cat. Oh yeah, look at him. He looks so sad. He's a real snuggle bug. He loves to cuddle. He's very chill. Like, look at him. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. Like, you remember how I just kind of let go of Artie and he left? Watch. I will let go. Oh no, you're leaving? You're proving me wrong. Don't you want to stay on my lap? Sad day. Groucho. Well, there's Artie. Artie, do you want to cuddle? Give me a meow for yes or a meow for no. 
Do you want to cuddle? He gave a meow. I don't know if you guys saw that. All right, migrants. 318. Up to... We'll see. Yeah, they're good boys. Cats are great. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. Oh, that's sad that they don't like animals. I wonder why. Oh my god. You know, sometimes having an animal is motivation enough to keep them alive like i know a lot of uh you know we're just going to talk about mental health for a little bit i have a lot of friends that are not perfect in the mental health department and they say that having an animal gives them a reason to give a damn about those needs and being responsible for the animal helps them it helps them take care of the animal, and also it helps them take care of themselves. So, you know, treat that how you will. Yeah, cats like to roam. They're going to be curious about everything. They're kind of like their own operators, you know? They want to they wanna see everything. So that reminds me, uh, so so Lolotov Cocktail just did a, a, a raid on a channel where they were talking about a shot caller stream. I do not mind certain types of pain, and I was thinking that it would be fun to do a shot caller stream where, like, people donate bits and it would cause, um, it would cause an electric shock, and I think that might be kind of fun to do that. And I wanted to just kind of gauge interest, like who would be interested in that? I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be fun to try out. Fucking dead herbalist? Damn, dude. The fuck? Interesting. All right, let me read chat. Wow, even more dead people. This is insane. 
So I get a catfish. Catfish are very sharp and also delicious. Winter Brass says, I have severe anxiety and depression as well as CPS... CPT... What is CPTSD? I don't know that one. Because of society's response to my particular neural profile, but I'm perfectly motivated to continue to exist because I'm not a fan of the concept of dying. Me neither. Used to be. I got better. Thank God. A pet would detract from that because it would increase my anxiety because I have another thing to care for. White Doggo says, my iguana loves hanging out with my cat. I w White Doggo, please, God, tell me that you are in my Discord. I would love to see you post your iguana and your cat. Uh, we have a channel called Post Your Cat, and I really would love to see some iguana and cat love. I think that would be awesome. I think that would be so cool. Like, I would, I would love to see that. Oh no, I have to remove both of these. Lame. Uh... We're going to be really careful with this. Oh no, did I fuck up? I think I might have fucked up. Oh, I might have fucked up. I might have fucked up. Yeah, I might have fucked up. There we go. Well. Okay, let's read up on chat. Shock collars are the devil, and if I knew that a person hadn't put a shock collar on their pet, I'd be seriously considering violence. Well, it goes on me. I don't think I should start talking about my neural profile. If you feel not inclined, no worries. You might follow foul of Twitch's rules regarding self-harm. So, fun fact. Uh, shock collar streams, specifically, are like in a special clause of the Twitch TOS. And there have been people that got in trouble for doing shock collar streams, but then they... Uh, appealed it, and then they made a new rule related to shock collars on Twitch, and I've looked into it, and it is okay right now. Even drinking to excess? Yeah, I mean, that, that's why I keep my drinking pretty light on Twitch. Iguanas are chill. Uh, iguanas are actually surprisingly good around house cats if the iguana is large enough. I would believe that. It's like how dogs won't mess with the cats if the cat still has claws. I mean, I've seen I've seen dogs fuck around with cats even though they have their claws. Like I've seen that a lot, honestly. Upper spine is bruised. Damn, Lanix. They're chill, they don't move much, they don't really move super fast unless they really, really want to. Yeah, I, I spent some time in the Florida Keys, and I saw some very, very fast-moving iguanas. Very, very fast-moving. They uh, really move fast when they want to. They really do. 10 by 5. 10 by 5. Everything a cat looks for in other beings. Some cats will try to poke at the iguana 
and they get a face full of jail for their trouble. Which is how cats learn not to bother iguanas, I believe it. I believe it. In the Florida Keys, iguanas are invasive. They have, like, no natural predators, so they have rules where it's like, if you turn in an iguana, you'll get a reward. And I find that kind of funny. I find that very interesting, but that's how that works. Cats, like children, liberally employ fuck around and find out. Yeah, facts. If you ever feel like I'm being too forthright, read my mental health, let me know, because the goal is to be factual, not to trauma enough. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Listen, here's the thing, all right? This stream has uh, extremely few rules, because I feel like the people who watch my stream are generally smart enough, socially and, like, book-wise, to know what things to talk about and what not to talk about. So I felt like I didn't really need to have a bunch of rules on my stream. Like, it, it's going to be pretty damn obvious when, um, when it's like, yeah, talk about this. Or it's like, yeah, don't talk about this kind of thing. So you're doing just fine. Don't you worry. White Doggo says, yeah, I try to get pictures, but they do not like when I try. So far, I can get solo pictures, but when they chill, so far, they get defensive about anything, anyone else. But I'll try to get one for the Discord. I would love that. Even if it's just, like, a picture of your cat and your iguana in the same picture, I would love that. that that's, like, unique. That is unique as fuck. Uh... Uh... I fucked up. 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 Oh no. Oh no no no. Oh no. Oh no. We fucked up. We have fucked up. Shit. I did not mean to make a fortification there. I My finger must have slipped from the V key to the F key and now we are flooding. Not good. Not good. We'll see if this works. All right, catching up more with chat. Uh, the thing is, there's a flood going on, and this could get really bad. I really hope it doesn't. We'll watch it carefully. Shark color has to be set below a threshold, definitely. As long as you've done your research, got speed. If you have a cat and buy a puppy, the puppy might mess with the cat and then get scratched out. So basically, there's not to mess with the cat, even something like a Great Dane. I would believe that. Animals tend to not fuck with things after they have been fucked with. It's usually how it goes. The iguanas in Mexico when I was a kid were terrifying. White Dogo says, yes, mine will tail whip you, and the bite is one of the worst you can get. I take my tegu, snake, and tarantula bite first. I've been bit by a few snakes, but none of them had, like, significant teeth. It's wild when a cat beats on a big dog as a puppy, and then the dog is forever afraid of cats, even when the dog is full grown. <laughs> Fucking true. Iguanas are pretty invasive. I think apple snail eggs are similar, where if you can report the destruction of an egg sac, some places will reward you. White Winter Brass says, I well, one thing to keep in mind is some people will have conditions that make reading the room basically impossible. Yeah, that is that is a fact. I met plenty of people that are that way. I think I think we do a decent job. I really do think we do a decent job around here, you know, helping with that. What is so stinky around here? Oh, we need a bigger stockpile for food, looks like. Alright. You got it. This will be all food. Food, which consists of cheese and prepared meals. That'll help. Let's see if this gets filled out while we're watching. Okay, let's check it. 
Minotaur says, I apologize if it felt like I was fucking fun mocking you for sharing in any way. It was a joke towards my own mess of mental health stuff. I'm glad you're comfortable enough for sharing. I'm proud of you. Winter Breast is not all your golden. Yeah, Winter Breast is a pretty reasonable person. I had a good sense about Scooty was a sweetheart about that sort of thing. I want to make sure they knew I'm not trying to take attention away from her or whatever. Disappearing for a few as I've got some stuff to go back in 10-ish. Sounds good, Winter Brass. I really wish that I had timestamps. I really wish that I had timestamps on Twitch chat. OBS and Streamlabs don't really do that. It's a shame. It's a real shame. Okay. Let's knock out some more rock salt. Is this Toho? Yes, this is Toho music. I don't know if you guys are fans of Toho or not. I like the music quite a bit. The music is spectacular. Do, 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 do. A stone crafter guild? I thought we already did that. I swear we already did this. Yeah, stonework. Uh... A stone crafter. Oh my god. Alright. Stone crafter it is. Is this it? This is a weaver guild. Alright, let's uh, wrap this one up. Okay, meeting place. We can make this better. Bro, I've been watching so many Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 2023 gameplay lately, and it's making me want to pick up the game and become a casual again. Gameplay videos. Last Call of Duty that I played was Modern Warfare. The fuck, I don't even fucking know what year I played, man. They're all so fucking similar. It's hard for me to know which one is which. Uh, Warzone 2, if that helps. Warzone 2. That is what I played. And I was like, damn, this is kind of cool. I can see why people like this. And then I was like, uh, I don't know if I'm interested. It didn't keep my interest for super long. I mainly enjoyed it because I could do, like, mic spam. Not mic spam, but, like, I, I like to use a soundboard. That was a lot of fun. People tended to enjoy that, and it was a lot of fun to do. Playing, like, memes and stuff over the... Over the microphone is pretty fun. I do have a YouTube video about it. A very short one. It's pretty funny. Okay, so they want a Weaver Guild and a Stonecraft Guild. This is a 10 by 5. We'll do another 10 by 5. That's why I play with Black Ops 2. Jesus Christ, so you've been out of the game for a good long time. A very long time. A very, very long time. We don't have a dwarf named Winter Brass, so I'm gonna randomly choose this one. Just because I saw your name in chat and I saw that we didn't have one named Winter Brass. Is our pit done? Our pit looks done. So now we can finally take these out. Yep, 
Yeah, I remember like the classic Black Ops. Classic Black Ops was uh, a lot of fun because of the weapons that they had in the game. I remember that was pretty cool. So this is getting filled out. This needs to be a Stone Crafter Guild. So we'll set up a meeting area right there. Guild Hall for Stone Crafter. Right? Stone Crafter? Yeah, Stone Crafter. Shoop. And then we smooth all of it. And then we'll put in some gold. We'll do these two. There we go. Favorite public COD 4. I mean, damn. Super funny throwback about COD 4. This is back when I did not have anywhere close to a gaming PC. I did not have a computer that should be running any games. I ran Call of Duty 4 at about 4 frames per second. And somehow I thought that that was acceptable. And I ended up getting first prestige. I even joined a clan on Call of Duty 4 because of my... Uh, Terrible, terrible, terrible computer. It was hilarious. Anytime that I started shooting my gun, I lost frames. It was very bad. It was, like, by today's standards, it was unfucking playable But, uh, I did it. And back then, my name was Cannon Fodder, because I felt like every time that I played, the first grenade over the hill would kill me. So I named myself Cannon Fodder. I thought that was a reasonable name. Funny times. It's the only COD ever prestigious. It was such a dope game. Yeah, it was pretty good. Pretty good. So what's going on here? I see Miasma. Oh, from the dead body. Uh. Are we going to retrieve that body or not? That's the question. So we need to pump water out of there. I mean, they still have that. They still have that in Call of Duty. I know that for a fact. That is still definitely in the game. Okay, so we have pedestals. We could put some artifacts on there if we want. Hmm. So that's our necromancer, and nothing's happening. Stonecrafter Guild is still going. Is this it? Stonecrafter, yeah. Let's see, who else is on the Dwarf Fortress category right now? Alright, let's raid Lanix. Let's send a raid over to Lanix. We're gonna have some fun over there. And, uh, I'm gonna hop off for now. I had a blast chilling with you guys. Thank you very much for the conversation. Um, I think I'm going to hang out on my Discord if you guys want to have a chat. We do have a Discord channel. Here's your chance to hop onto the Discord. I'll give you about like 20 seconds to get in there. We'll, uh, we'll put on some nice closing music. Let's find some. That's some nice closing music. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was a good time. I had a great time hanging out with you guys. I look forward to the next Door Fortress stream. Also, as a fun fact for you guys, I do have a YouTube channel. I have a TikTok. I have a couple of other different socials. I posted it right there. If you click on that link tree, it will show you all of my socials. I post every single one of my VODs to my VOD channel. So if you guys felt like you missed out on some Dwarf Fortress deliciousness, you can check it out there. I also post edited videos on my main 
YouTube channel, edited by the wonderful, the elegant, the talented Boss Masker. He streams as well. If you guys can follow me in following Os Masker, he does stream time for, time and time again. He's very talented. Um, if you guys post in my Discord games that you would like to see streamed, I'll take a look at them. I'm always interested in trying new things, and uh, you know, I'm not just I'm not just a Dwarf Fortress streamer. 